Hello everyone. So this is an interesting question for me. It was like one of the favorite questions. So the thing is, uh, the question is, what if the spring has some mass m, then the time period. Okay. So we know that the time period of a spring, that equation we already know. What is the time period? That is two pi root of m by k spring mass oscillation two pi root of m by k. But here m is m was actually the mass of the object. I mean mass of the the block. But here this particular spring has mass m. It has mass m and length l. So I'll be representing all of them here. So it is just a uh, what is the skeleton of the diagram and I'll be representing everything. So l. It has length l. And the question is if this body is uh, like if this entire system is actually oscillating then what is the time period let's derive that formula and uh, let's say how would i say like this this entire system is actually moving with velocity v capital v and you know that you know very clearly you have to have an idea that at this point like i'll be marking it over here at this point what will be the velocity? The velocity will be zero. So here the velocity will be zero. And at this point of the spring, the velocity will be V. So it is actually increasing from zero to V. That also you keep in your mind. And I just need one more thing that is here. Let's say I'm considering a small element here. I'm considering a small element. So here, let's say this is my small element. And this has a length, one second. Yeah, this is this actually at a distance dx. Sorry, this has a thickness dx. And let me consider it as at a distance. This will be at a distance x from it. You can see that as well. Okay. So that is also clear, I guess. So thickness is dx and which is at a distance x from the, from the end. Okay, one end. Now we will we will derive the formula and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider the instantaneous kinetic energy instantaneous kinetic energy of the element dx. So instantaneous kinetic energy of the element dx what will, what will be the value so that we will check first. So dx I hope you understood this is a, a small portion. Okay so now let's say that d kinetic energy will be equal to so 1 by 2 mass of that small portion dx into the velocity of that small portion dx square we know that the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square now let me ask you a question how much is the mass of the dx so that's that's what i'm going to do on this side mass of the small portion dx how much is that so the total mass of this uh, spring is let's say m total length is l and of that small portion dx it will be m by l into dx no doubt but here the most important part is look at this how much will be the velocity of that small portion the small part dx so u dx how much it would be so this is like a very interesting fact. Look at this. It is, I already told you that is here. How much is the velocity here? Zero. At this end, zero. So and then velocity increasing towards this direction. So velocity zero from zero to V, it is increasing. So I could, I could do one more thing. That is, it will be, the value will be, the, the final velocity is V. That is V divided by L into X. So that will be the velocity of that small portion because it is it gradually it is increasing uniformly it is increasing from zero to v so in between there is a point x so at that point x there is a dx element and what will be the velocity of that element v by l into x now you can substitute both the both the equations here so d kinetic energy will be equal to half into m m how much is m m by l into dx into u dx how much is that v by l into x the whole square so you can you can put it again you can rearrange them so d kinetic energy is equal to half into m 
into m divided by l cube you can see that l square into l l cube into v square into x square dx so this is the equation now what i want i want the total kinetic energy you can consider the total kinetic energy integrate on both sides integral d kinetic energy that is the total kinetic energy will be equal to half into m by l cube into v square integral 0 to l what is that x square dx that will be the equation so integral 0 to l x square dx that integration part is done you are going to find out the kinetic energy so you will understand why kinetic energy you will you'll understand it so so the total kinetic energy will be equal to 1 by 2 m divided by l cube into v square how much is integral x square dx it is nothing but x cube divided by 3 so integral x raised to n dx what is the value yes what is, sorry what is the value x cube divided by 3 sorry x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 i hope you know this okay don't don't forget that so from where to where 0 to l apply the limit apply the limit then it will be kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 3 m divided by l cube into v square into l cube divided by 3 so l cube l cube gone so what will be the remaining value the re sorry this is supposed to be 1 by 2 not 1 by 3 yeah 1 by 2 okay not 1 by 3 so kinetic energy will be equal to 1 by 6 m v square this is the equation for kinetic energy of the spring um, kinetic energy of the spring will be 1 by 6 mv square so apparently you can write it as kinetic energy of spring spring not spring mass system it's a spring how much is that 1 by 2 into m by 3 v square see you can actually take you can you can compare this equation with the half mv square so what is the effective mass of spring so then you can say the effective mass of spring the effective mass of the spring would be m by 3 so that is why that is why the spring has effective mass m by 3 i hope you understood so then what will be the net mass like what is that what will be the net mass the block has mass capital m so what will be the net mass net mass will be capital m plus m by 3 this will be the net mass but we can we can prove that i hope you understood that clearly if those who are not okay with this we can prove this again we can move this we can discuss this again so let me take it into consideration so this we are we are done with this we are done like we we completed that part but let me let me exact i mean little bit exaggeration is required little bit expansion is required so let's do that so then you will get the perfect uh, equation for time period okay here also you can get but anyways so then the total energy will be the total energy will be 1 by 6 m v square plus what about the uh, kinetic energy of this block mass m yes capital m that will be 1 by 2 capital m into v square that has velocity v we know that plus half into k x square let's say it is moving x or you can take or what what is that you can consider x or you can consider y so i'll be considering x x square so let's say it has a, a expansion x but already we used x right so maybe we can use l half k l square okay s square or y square whatever you like you do it or i can i can use that as well so this will be y square okay no problem now you know that this is the total energy of that uh, spring mass system and the total energy is always conserved. So what is the meaning of that? dE by dt has to be zero. The total energy has to be conserved, which means dE by dt is equal to zero. So which implies you can say one by six m into two v into dV by dt plus one by two capital M into two v again into dV by dt plus what about half k y square 1 by 2 k into 2y into dv dy by dt so what is dy by dt this is v so apparently this all equal to zero 
So now you can see that 1 by 6 uh, m into, what is dv by dt? Acceleration. So into 2v plus 1 by 2 capital M into, what is dv by dt again? Acceleration into 2v plus half into k into, look at this, there is actually y is there and into 2 times dy by dt. What is dy by dt? That is also 2v is equal to 0. So in all terms, 2v, 2v, 2v will get cancelled each other. And what will be the remaining part? Remaining part will be 1 by 6 ma plus 1 by 2 capital ma plus half into ky is equal to 0. So you can actually, uh, 1 by 2 also you can avoid. So it will be a you can take outside. It will be m small m divided by 3 plus capital M plus or is equal to, you can take that, that term to that side is equal to minus ky look at this does it look like any form which is like very very familiar to us yes a is equal to minus k divided by look at this m divided by 3 plus capital m into y look at this this equation looks like our beloved shm equation what is that d square y by dt square is equal to minus k divided by m by 3 plus capital M y. So what is omega square here? Omega square is equal to k divided by m by 3 plus m. And what about the time period? Time period is equal to 2 pi root of m by k. What is that m? Capital M plus m by 3 divided by k. So this is the equation for time period of SHM or spring mass system, spring mass oscillator when there is a mass small m for the spring. I hope you understood very clearly. If you haven't, I mean any steps if you have doubt, you just go and watch it again and still if you get the doubt, you have to ask me, you got to ask me, so then we'll, I'll clear it. Okay, thank you.